Hey, what is happening, folks? It is Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you back to another episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where I unbox, give my first reaction to all things pop culture. So if you like that kind of stuff, hit that like, subscribe, get notified when I have new videos, which try to post every week. Uh, so today I've got an amazing, not fine, but I got something that came in the mail that I won off the Transformers Underground. And so it just came in the mail today. I won it off of Tim Riggin, one of his games that he had. And here it is, here is the box. I haven't opened it yet. I think I remember what it is, but we're gonna open this together and see what uh, is in here. So uh, thanks again, Transformers Underground. Um, if you're not a part of that, definitely be a part of it. It's a really fun community. You can win some fabulous prizes, but also you get to meet other Transformer geeks like yourself and myself in that. So uh, this box is big, it's heavy. I, I think I paid like like eight or nine dollars for the spot and I only got one spot and I was able to get it with one spot. But let's open it up. This is my this is my new blade. Uh, so my previous blade had Wesley Snipes on it and I lost it. I don't know where it is. So I asked my wife to get me a new one and she put a new picture on there. So there, <laughs> blades of glory. Awesome. So uh, we'll use that. I'll keep it on there, but uh, let's open this baby up to see what this is. Let's see if it's amazing. If it's so amazing. <sighs> Oh yeah, I remember this now. I remember this now. Ah, I can't wait to get this out and show it to you all. Let me see if I can kind of work it here. Baby, just work it. Ugh, you gotta just work it. Slides out, fits like a glove. Uh, but, ah uh, yes, it is the Monocrat MT-01B Mega Tank. It is Megatron. I believe it's from the Bumblebee movie. So, uh, yeah. So, let's do this. Let's go to my secret lab and uh, unbox it and tell you what my thoughts are about this guy. Let's do it. All right, folks, here it is, Monocrat MT-01B by the company Megatank. Yes, it is the Transformers Bumblebee movie version of Megatron. Although we didn't see Megatron in that movie, this is what he would have been like, according to this company. And we know that Studio Series has a Bumblebee that is out there, uh, not a Bumblebee, a Megatron that is out there, a concept art one, but here is one as well. And again, thank you so much again, Tim, for allowing me to win this beautiful, beautiful package on the transformers underground if you're not a part of that make sure you are you can't win it less you in it so let's take a look at the box i'm going handheld here for just a moment because this thing is so huge uh that's what anyways no you know what i'm just gonna say there but there it is there's the mega tank logo there and the tank in the background so this old black box just all black with megatron right there too as well so looks looks so cool but what we want to do is we want to get this out of the box we'll do that off the camera and get this onto my review table so we can start playing with it so let's do it all I have got to say about this guy is just like what Luke Skywalker said in Star Wars or well, my wife didn't say it, but look at the size of that thing. So it is massive. He is huge, very intimidating, and I think he looks gorgeous. Uh, so uh, from a height standpoint, what you're looking at as I'm walking around this thing, I mean, he's about... He's, t he's about 13 and a quarter, 13 and a half inches tall. So probably not gonna scale with much. Uh, he is there for massive, massive, massive sex appeal. Uh, just to look mean and menacing. And boy, does he 
do that. So some of the things you do get in the box, you do get these instructions, which I have a feeling are not going to be really any good uh, for me uh, to, to transform this. I also got, thank you, Tim, Transformers Underground sticker right there. So nice, nice, nice. Got these little niblets here. I'm sure that's there to cover up holes uh, and things like that. So that little right there. Uh, and then you get this little like head cap and I'm sure this is for tank mode. Uh, so that looks really, really cool. And then his massive, massive gun. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is huge and it has a light right there that you can turn on and off, make him look really, really menacing, but fits right onto the side of his arm. Uh, but love the detail. It's made out of plastic. So very lightweight, but they did a really good job at some of the details in this, this guy. So really, really cool. Also got some stickers here that uh, Tim included. So thank you. Thank you. And then last but not least, Megatron himself. Uh, so articulation, I mean, I am going to see if we can kind of get this guy in for a closer look. Uh, I may go a little handheld with my camera, so give me just a moment. All right, I am handheld with my camera right now, but take a look at this guy. He just looks so freaking intimidating. Um, I am at a loss for words. I mean, he, he has some die cast in him. He has some plastic in him, uh, but take a look at that face. Let me bring some light in here so you can kind of get a better look at that. The eyes do light up. I'll see if I can get that going, but just has that really cool Cybertron kind of look, that feel, that robotic look. And as we go down to the, through the chest, you can see a place for the logo. We keep going down and we just kind of just take a sexy, sexy look at this guy, man. He is so cool. I love my legend scale bots. I love my chug scale. I love my masterpiece, but this thing, I, I know I don't have anything that's going to scale with it, but I think it's going to look good. I think it's going to be a really, really good looking piece. So there, there he is from the front. Let's kind of move, see the side kind of profile. There it is. Kind of has this cool little uh, gimmick here where it looks like a barrel of the gun right there. That's kind of cool. But there it is from the side. Just, just glorious. And let's take a look at the butt area. Look at that butt. Look at that butt. It's amazing. So there he is just from the back. I love it when they clean up the back just as good. I don't like it when you can kind of just see parts and it's just kind of just a backpack full of kibble and stuff. Uh, this just looks well put together. So Mega Tank, uh, you did good. You did good on this guy. So that is it for my handheld mode. So let me get the camera stationary again and we'll go into some articulation. All right, back in whatever uh, standing up mode and things like that. And I'm standing, I'm losing my breath. I'm breathing like a fat kid uh, when he sees a Christmas ham. Uh, it just looks so good. Or when Dunkin' Donuts has their free donut sign on, not for Dunkin', Krispy Kreme has their free donuts. Dunkin' doesn't give us free donuts. Krispy Kreme did way back in the day. I don't think they do it anymore. Uh, but just, again, just so glorious. The head, you tilt, has all sorts of tiltsies and things like that. And I think uh, there, there's the batteries and stuff down in here and the electronics is right there in the head. But I don't know how you turn on the electronics on this guy. So we'll have to figure that out here in just a moment. Um, the arm, it's on a ratchet, so it does rotate all the way around. You don't have it, it's not on a butterfly or anything like that, so it's just moving up and down. But you do have that ratchet. Uh, you do have fingers that fing, so each individual finger does move out. I don't know if you can kind of see that with my, without my big fat body in the way. Uh, but yeah, each of the fingers fing. Uh, so you got a thumb here too as well. Let's pull that up. There we go. So he can do some really cool poses. We can get him to do the uh, rock and roll right there. So yeah, rock and roll, dude. Rock and roll Megatron. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of upset that it doesn't have like a Oh wait, there we go. That's how it does it. <laughs> there we are. So he does have outward movement there. Does he have a bicep swivel? Yes, 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 yes. We also have a waist swivel 
ab crunch, very nice. The feet, they look like they're on a ratchet. So yeah, they do ratchet. Ken Van Dam out there and man, it's it kind of holds it. You, you can move it and it will kind of not, but the ratcheting, really nice double knee joint there. Hip drop right there. Hip hop, a spotamus dropping. Uh, you do have a twist at the knee and then you have the tilts at the ankle and stuff like that too as well. So very, very nice articulation on this dude. Let me see if I can figure out how to get the lights on on the head and get him standing properly and get his gun attached. I'll be right back. So I figured out the eyes and you can kind of see they kind of glow uh, right there. You kind of pull the head apart and there's a switch. Uh, let me see if I can turn these lights off so it's a bit easier so you can kind of see that. So they do glow uh, in the dark along with, again, the cannon attached right there. So that's too, too cool. Uh, so uh, you can have that. Most people probably won't leave these lights on. It's a good gimmick, uh, but you definitely don't. Uh, when you're displaying them, you're not going to leave these on because then the batteries will just kind of just die out. Uh, so you don't want that to happen. Uh, but that's how you get it on. So let's compare him to a few other bots for scale. So for scale, let's start from smallest to biggest. And I have brought in his brother, but now enemy, Little Optimus Prime. So this is Dr. Wu's Optimus Prime. So you can kind of see how big he is there. Let's bring in the next smallest, which is a core class, Optimus Prime. There we go. And let's bring in the next smallest, is the Legends class Optimus Prime. So you can see, let's get into now, Not uh, let's get into the uh, Voyager, whatever, the Studio Series 86 Optimus Prime. There we are. And then let's bring in a masterpiece scaled Optimus and there is that right there. Everything in the camera. Yes, good, great. So yes, none of those will scale. The only thing that I got that comes close, but it's still way too big, is over here is the Pangu Toys Optimus Prime. And so I'll put him right next to him. And you can see how much bigger Pangu is compared to Megatron. So it's not going to scale. Let me do this. Let me just pull it back a little bit and get everything in the shot. And there you go. So that's what he looks like for scale. So, um, yeah, so he's not going to scale with anything. Uh, so if you're into scaling things, then you're probably not going to want this guy. But if you're into big friggin' a robots right there, uh, I think it doesn't get any better than this. Now, uh, the original version does come with two heads. I think it also comes with a sword. This one does not. Uh, so, uh, but uh, it still is an impressive, impressive bot. And so just as impressive as this bot is, let's get him into tank mode and see how that looks. So let's do it. And boom, here you have it folks, Monocrat Megatron in tank mode. And I wouldn't call it a tank, I would call it a freaking howitzer on wheels, man. This is like just a huge, huge, huge cannon. And then it's just the tank that's surrounding an entire cannon, but I love it. I think it looks really, really good. Uh, and I can tell what these little black nubs are for, uh, is just to plug into all these holes. Uh, but man, this thing is really cool. And the transformation had a little bit of difficulty, but it wasn't too bad after watching MGO's video. Thank you, MGO, uh, for helping out. But there was a, a few times that things got tight and I just kind of had to really kind of force some things. I was afraid to break it, but it, it's pretty sturdy. I mean, even to the point I was banging things in too as well and so uh but this thing looks amazing it does and i am freaking happy with this uh it does have some rolling so the wheels do make it roll and so it can roll around uh so from a uh length standpoint because it's about length and the girth of this guy here the the girth of the megatron barrel he's a foot long he is a foot long, so he is a big boy. Not everyone can handle 
this tank uh, can handle a foot long here. But uh, there it is from the side. And then of course the front and I got the barrel on so you can kind of see the light and the gun. I need to replace those batteries to get them a little bit brighter. Uh, but uh, just looking at the detail of the front and things, I think everything came together really, really well. There's a little bit of like some, just some gappy, uh, gappiness here. If I kind of turn it to the side uh, here and let me see if I can adjust the camera just a hair, but yeah, just a little bit of the gappiness there, but uh, but not too bad. I think it does a really good job at hiding uh, Megatron. Now you can see his face is right here, uh, but just a really nice job. Everything kind of folds up really nice too as well underneath. Uh, and you got things that just kind of tab. Uh, so there's a little part right here. I don't know if I mistransformed something because I got a little part where this tabs in, but there's not a part over here where this kind of tabs in. And so I don't know if I just, just don't have it in right or what, but uh, there's so many, that's what she said, lines going on right now. But that's that's kind of what's going on there. But that's not important. Just making sure that you got these post holes in. And, and sometimes I, I just have to bang it on. That's what I kind of did was I just kind of banged it all in there uh, and made it happen. This is a little hollow right here. But, I mean, this is just so cool. This is just really cool. Um, I think I, wish, I should go handheld. Now, the turret doesn't turret. It doesn't turn. Uh, so that is one negative I have about this. It just doesn't, doesn't, doesn't turn. But this, I don't know what mode that I want to keep them in. I don't know if I want to keep them in robot mode or this tank mode, because this tank mode looks really, really good. Looks so much better than the, uh, the, like I said, the concept art Megatron, uh, which I'll put a picture of in here uh, if I if I remember to. You may just say, Jimmy, where's that picture? And well, you know, Google it. Uh, but just looks, looks nice. And so to compare them from other bots, and so I'm gonna bring a couple things in here. This is the little core class Bumblebee. And you can kind of see how big he is there to that. So let's move Bumblebee out of there. This is a uh, good old Voyager class prime Earthrise uh, Netflix version with the, the weird clear windows instead of the blue ones. Uh, but that's how big he is there. And let's bring in just one more tank. I got the uh, Blitzwing here and you can kind of see just this guy's not going to scale with anything, but he is impressive, 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 impressive. I, I'm just digging it. There's the back. The back cleans up really, really well. Uh, but overall, just a really, really cool tank. This is just mega tank. This is a mega tank. Monocrat is a mega tank. And I am just so excited about this guy. And I, I can't wait to see more from your company. I'm going to research a little bit more, see if y'all have anything else out. But this thing just looks so, so good. Uh, really, really good. I think it came together really nice. Uh, so uh, let me get my mind out of the gutter with all the that's what she said lines that I had in this description. And let's get you back to Jimmy in the chair to give you his final thoughts and whether he recommends Monocrat's Megatron or not so let us do it so what are my final thoughts on monocrat megatron first of all my final thoughts are thank you tim again at transformers underground for hosting a game that let me win this transformers underground where you too can become a winner so let's bring him in there he is folks and he's just a big beefy boy so prime Pengu Prime was a big beefy boy, but this guy, he is a big beefy boy. Big boy. You've been here four hours. Look at him. He is just intimidating, amazing looking. He feels good. He's made of die cast plastic. He has got, he's the full package. Like this is what he should look like. If he cannot be a gun, he should look like this. The Cyber, the Cybertronian Megatron and that tank mode looks really, really cool. Now transformation on him, very difficult. I mean, not very difficult. I mean, the transformation, if you're watching a video, and thank you, Emgo, for his video on how to transform this guy because the instructions are crap, uh, but he, it's 
there's a lot of moving pieces and things like that, but when you get him into tank mode, his tank mode looks really, really good. It doesn't look like the, I, I've seen the concept art Megatron one, uh, and it doesn't look like that at all. It looks really good. It feels really good. I love the big old gun here that becomes the, the, the cannon uh, for the tank, but I um, love this version. Now, the f initial version was like kind of a battle damage or a weathered version. This one's more of a original clean paint version, and I really do dig this original clean paint version. Now, now, if you're buying him to scale him with anything, he is not going to scale with anything. Uh, so, uh, but if you're buying him because he looks BA, then do that. Uh, because on a scale of good, bad, awesome, this guy is freaking, freaking, freaking awesome. I mean, he's probably one of my new favorite Megatrons besides uh, the the OG Megatron that turned into the Walter P30, Walter P38. Uh, but uh, this this is everything I have desired in one, and I'm thankful. I know this this has been out for a while. And, but I just now got him and I don't know what I've been waiting for. So I am telling you all, if you don't have him, you probably should look for him. It's going to be hard to find him. You may have to look on AliExpress, Shozy Store, Bombusbee.net. You may have to look around for him, but you should be able to find him. And I wouldn't pay more than like 150 or something like that for him because, um, but, uh, gosh, yeah, just. I got no words. This guy here who talks a lot and mumbles a lot has no words because this Megatron is very special and very amazing. Let me get close to the camera and tell you how amazing I am. So uh, definitely pick this guy up. I would put him on a must pick up list. And, my, and Megatank, really great figure. Really, really, really really great figure. Uh, so, so thank you again, Transformers Underground. Thank you for that. I'll put a link down below where you can join Transformers Underground. Uh, also looking for Transformer Underground chat on Fridays. I will have a show that I co-host with Billy the Kid from Billy the Kid's Toy Reviews, where we talk all things Transformers called The Forge. So make sure you look out for that too as well. And that'll be on the Transformers Underground chat. Uh, so that will be really, really awesome. But uh, yeah, so if you like this video and liked all my other videos, make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, and maybe consider becoming a member because becoming a member makes sure that I can con continue delivering amazing content with this guy. Not this guy, but other guys too as well. But tune in next time when we do talk about something else good, bad, or awesome. But in the meantime, y'all, Remember to stay young, have fun, and be awesome. I'm going to go take some pictures of this guy. Not like snuff pictures or anything like that. I'm going to go take some really cool pictures so that way I can put them at the end of this video. And I can keep them. And I can use it for blackmail. So we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.